Good morning, folks. It's March 31, 2024. Happy Easter. I'm on uh, Truman Lake, the Osage Arm, about 7.30 in the morning. A little slight breeze. Supposed to be maybe a little breezy today, but beautiful morning. I mean, just beautiful. The uh, temperatures are great. I just pulled in here a little cut where I've uh, caught some fish in the last couple of weeks. I'm going to see if I can catch a few crappie. Stay with me. Come on. Got right, hit right here at the boat. I mean, he hit it. There we go, folks. There's a nice crappie. Real nice crappie up high. I'll tell you, I don't know how many eight inch crappie I've caught this morning. My gosh, they're showing up good on the screen. They look like good ones, but they're not. But that one, that one will go on the stringer. Yes, indeed. He was up high, too. I like that. Put my power pole down. I'm kind of going with the wind here. I've been up more toward the bluff out of the wind, and all I'm seeing are small crappie. Got to get out here and find some better fish, even if i got to be in the wind. have to deal with it like I have been for the last three weeks. Two of them right there. Will either one of them chase me? Nope. Didn't end, did they? Oh, I got below him. Here he comes. There he got it. Pitched in there, lost him, got below him, came up, and he ate it. Yep, that's a keeper. A white crappie. I tried to lose him, but he found me. using I was using a purple and chartreuse earlier and I had two or three chase it and then they just wouldn't commit to it so I pulled out this little live in the dream it's just kind of clear got some sparkles in it and I took a marker and put some chartreuse on the sides and on the tail so far they're eating it Spoonbill, right there, look at that spoonbill. Boy, that one's pretty identifiable. If you wanted to live scope a spoonbill, there's one to do it. Got it. Lost him on the screen, but he chased her down, came and got it. That'll be a good keeper there. Oh yeah, or a keeper anyway. Yeah, it's a nice little fish. Lost it on the scope, but it didn't lose me. Good deal. Ooh, what's that up there? Get by it. What's it going to do? Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, I almost got by him. He came off the tree. I was trying to get my poles down. <laughs> All right. I like it. They're eating this little color.
thought I saw one right on the tip of a limb out here. Right there. If I can get to him, he's kind of behind me. I got, oh, I came right over him. I got a stump right in front of my trolling motor. It keeps blocking me and I can't move on him. Oh man, that's right on him. There he comes. That could be a good fish right there. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes indeed, that's a nice one there. Oh baby, <laughs> come back here. I could tell the way he's laying on that lamb. He was a good one. He is too, he's got something on his eye. He blinding one eye, that's all I can catch are blind fish. Oh man. Yeah, I like that one. Let's see what that little fish weighs. He's no monster, but he's a good one. I'm not gonna keep him. He's blind in one eye, I think. Feel sorry for him. One twenty-three. Pound and a quarter fish. Saw him laying on that lamb and was having a hard time getting to him. Yep, we're gonna let him go, poor thing. Can you see that on his eye? It's like he's got a cataract or something. He needs a little eye surgery. He's done pretty well for himself to get that big. He liked the little kind of clear bug that I've doctored up. Maybe they're gonna be on the trees. More than out roaming. Come on down. Got to be right there. I lost my jig, but got him. Yeah, I knew I had to be right there. Oh, he, <laughs> he's a fighter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice fish. I put him on the stringer. He was a fighter. Well. There's a fish I like. If I can get on it, let's see. Yep. Yep, got it. Put that one in the box. Nice little keeper fish. A little fat white crappie. They're starting to fatten up. Starting to get a little belly on them. Could be a good fish there. Yeah, we're gonna find out. Ah, oh, it's not that big, but he's a keeper for sure. Boy, he looked bigger than that to me on the screen. He really did. Fun though. <laughs> yep. There he is. Dang him. We'll get right on top of him. Come on, there you are. I'm right on his nose. There he, he reacted. I got him. <laughs> Had to almost get right on top of him and vertical fish him. Yeah, he's a nice crappie. I knew he was in there somewhere. I know where he's going. Okay, I like it. I got my favorite pitching rod, my B&M 75th anniversary, 75th anniversary reel, five pound K9 crappie braid. I got a little uh, fluorocarbon leader. I don't know if that's necessary, but I got a little uh, 
Actually, I think that's 12 pound K9 fluorocarbon leader. Been on there for a while, I just keep shortening it up if I have to retie. I usually don't even tie a leader. This water's dirty enough, I don't think you need it, but I had it on there. If I break off, I probably won't use a leader. Sometimes I think even in this dirtier water, those crappie can sense that braid a little bit maybe if they're really really finicky these fish i don't think it makes a bit of difference but i don't know if they see it but sometimes i think they sense it oh, there you go 34 feet out this one's gonna be kind of funky with the wind let's see if i can position a little bit Get my poles down. See if I can relocate it. Is that it? Down about 12 feet deep. Uh oh, lost my jig. Here it is. Oh, it came by him. He couldn't resist it. He couldn't resist it. That's a keeper. Oh boy, I just about got that hook in me. A little black crappie. Yep, we're gonna put that one on the stringer. Okay, that's fun. Let's see if we can do it. I love seeing these fish and then picking them off. It's kind of like hunting, I guess. I don't know. I used to hunt a lot. I just don't have time to hunt and fish, so all I've done the last few years is fish. But this live scoping is kind of like hunting, I think. Find them, line up on them, shoot them. I like that one at 30 feet out there if I could if I can get on him. If I can shoot him. He sees it. He's coming. Yep. <laughs> Hunting crappie. Maybe that's what we'll name this. Maybe not. white crappie. I bet that fish is ten and a half inches long. Let's see. He's a good eater, whatever he is. Yep. Ten, right at ten and a half. Good keeper fish. About wore all my pink paint off the head of this thing. I caught a bunch of crappie on that jig head right there. There he comes. Come on. That'd be a good fish if that's crappie. And if he'll bite. Not gonna bite, is he? Yeah, he did. <clears throat> Finally, I had to kind of stop it and give it a little shake. Yeah, nice. Very nice fish. Little paintless jig head. Poor thing looks bad. <laughs> Been beat up.
Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. He's chasing it. Got him. How's oh, that for pitching behind me as the wind's blowing me away? Ha! I'm gonna brag on myself a little bit there. That was pretty good. Oh, that's a nice fish too. Now look at the belly on this little. Look at the belly on this one. And that's what I like to see. That's a nice white crappie. They're getting fatter. Yep, got to brag on myself on that one a little bit. That one was behind me to the side and the wind's blowing me this way. But we got it. They're eating this little living the dream bait, that little clear. I doctored it up. Poor old jig head beat to death. Pink, what's left of it. We have to call that one pink and silver. I do have some more. I don't know why I don't get one out, but they keep beating this one, why switch? It's right there. Oh, wind's blowing. I gotta be coming right by it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, gosh, dang it, he was coming. I got the tree. Dang it. All right. Oh, it came loose. No, it didn't either. I think it came loose and then got hung again. Yep. Okay. I broke off my little bug here in the tree, so I'm going to get a new jig head, a new bait. I'm going to tie straight to the braid. friend of mine sent me these beat jigs there's the site I like the looks of them I've been using them a little bit they're pretty good this is just an eighth got an eye painted on it pink nice hook let's tie that on Get me another a little living the dream. Just kind of clear and got some silver in it. I'm gonna paint it a little bit. Just take the old marker pen. I'm just gonna go right down the side, a little line, a little line down that side, put just a little bit on the tail. You know, you got to doctor them just to make them your own. Or it does not make one bit of difference. All right, here, I'm going to promote another fishing channel. Do you all ever watch fishing stuff? I watch every one of them. I love his videos. His last one, he's always going to Harbor Freight. He pointed out these scissors at Harbor Freight. I went and got a pair of them, $9.00 awesome check out his channel he's got a lot of good tips look at that how that cuts that i like it all right here's how i tie a loop knot wind blowing so bad i can't hit the eye hole he's got big big eyes in these jigs that's one of his trademark things and they are too they're good all right i just run it through there 
I just wrap it around my finger. Oop. Need to get some more string out. All right, let's pull up plenty of string. I just got it run through there. Put it with two fingers, and I'm just going to push it through there about four times, whatever, five times. And then what I do is I take that eye and put it behind there and then trap it and then I pull it down so that knot gets closer to the eye and right before I get to the eye I pull it off of that eye and tighten her up seeing I don't have much room between the eye and the knot trim that off I am going to open that eye, that hook up just a little bit. Don't get on the barb. You don't want to smash your barb down. But I'm just going to open that up just a little bit. Now where's my little bug? Alrighty. My little living the dream. I'll have to ask Larry what color he calls this. I don't know. Clear with silver flake. Let's see if he'll catch one. In the wind. That looks like some fish right there. Put my poles down. Slow me down. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? I can't really tell. There's my jig. Oh, don't tell me right off the bat. First pitch I get in the tree with my new jig. That gummit, this wind's going to play heck on us. All right, I'll show you another little thing I do. I've poured some just weights. Got just a little snap swivel on top of it. Whoa, open up that snap swivel. Put it on my line close it drop that down the weight of that a lot of times will knock that jig loose look at there she went right down knocked it off save my brand new little jig i just make these up they're just pencil weights i got a mold i just keep a number of them right there in the old cup holder I used one earlier this morning and dro dropped my weight down to the cup holder and missed it. Hit the boat and bounced in the water. I don't know why I tell on myself like that, but I did. Woo, that wind. She's blowing now, folks. Okay, folks, I'm gonna make a move. I'm right out here in midst of all this wind I was hoping I could finish off without having to move but I'm going to have to move so fire pole up I don't know where I'm going to go to get out of it we're going to find something, stay with me alright folks we might not catch any fish in here but at least it is kind of out of the wind a little bit let's see I just pulled up in back of this cove that's kind of protected but it's hard to get out of that wind on this lake. It seems to just circle around. Come on. Oh, he darted at it once and missed it and came back. Yes, sir, he got it. He likes the old beat jig and living the dream. Yep. Okay. Man, it's impossible to get out of this wind. Eighth ounce, I don't know if I told you or not. It's just an eighth ounce jig. What I've been fishing all day, eighth ounce.
just kind of targeting these roaming fish they're chasing the little jig a little bit and when they're doing that I love to pitch to them what do we say hunting crappie quit win dang it yeah, of course big gust you find one the big gust comes up that's all right quit complaining whiner whiner come on come on got it <laughs> oh yeah it's a nice fish there nice fish there yeah oh boy oh boy that's a dandy that's a dandy i'm gonna put it on the stringer There we go. If I can catch up to him in this wind, not spook him. Come on, he sees it. Got him. <laughs> Just got to stay with it. Oh, man, yeah. All right. That's a limit, folks. That's a limit. All right, folks, it's about 1040. Got a limit. That old wind's picking up. I'm going to go to the house. Hey, thanks for being with me on this Easter Sunday. It's been fun. I love pitching to these crappie. I, I just I just can't get enough of it. But I'm going to take these to the house and uh, go get out of the wind and uh, spend some time with my wife on this Easter Sunday. Thank you for being with me. I, I really appreciate all the support I'm getting on my channel uh thank you for subscribing hitting that like button and watching my videos there'll be two more down here at the end of this one if you like this one i think you'll like them please watch one of them thanks for being with me Woohoo! we gone